Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Straight Tech here. So today we're gonna be trying out the screen protector from Case Cool. It's my first time buying it from them, so we're gonna try to put it on. And so let's open this up real fast. So this screen protector is pretty brand new. You can find it on their website or on Amazon. Okay, so here we have it. We're gonna do. We're gonna install the case cool screen protector on the iPhone SE. So first, what you wanna do is use a wet wipe to clean the screen first. So let's open this up. Put that to the side. Right. So after that, just open this up. If I could open the, what the hell? So just clean the the whole surface of the phone. You don't want to have any bubbles on there. That's really annoying. So just make sure you clean it and you take out any leftover debris or particles that are left on it after you clean it with the wipey. So clean the whole button as well. Okay, put that to the side. Now I use a microfiber cloth to clean it really fast, take out any smudges. All right, and I use a dust absorber And this one's actually pretty good because on some screen protectors that come with the dust absorber, it's really strong. So when you lay it on the phone, it actually picks up the phone every time you kind of lift it up. So it's, it, it becomes too strong. And this one's pretty good, actually. It's like right in the middle. And right there, I just pull it, actually. But other than that, it's pretty good. So I think once it hit one, yeah, when you touch the home button, that's when it's, it becomes a lot more stickier. Okay then, so that should be good. Take out the screen protector. Okay, so right here it says to remove side number one. So right here it says the front, even though it's the back. I don't know why it's saying number two on there. So You should be removing this one after this one, but I noticed that when I peel the first one off, this side is not sticky. So this is telling me that this is the front of the phone and this is gonna be the back of it. So the labeling is wrong here. So take out this part. Take out the sticky part first. Put the little case that comes with it for you to align it perfectly. And just line it up with the earpiece. Push it all around just in case it hits the corner. Now that it's on, on every corner, pretty flush. So I try to take out the bubbles. So take your time doing this. And if that doesn't help, try using the cloth and use your finger to wipe down on it. Whatever you can use with this little piece of tool right here. I don't know what it's called. Use this microfiber. Make sure you don't use your finger like this because you could damage the screen protector or worst case scenario, take it off. So let's just use a microfiber cloth to remove any remaining bubbles on the screen. And then peel off the top. And I think you could remove the little piece that came with the phone now. So 
try to put some pressure on the parts where there are bubbles on it. Hopefully the bubbles do come out. So put some pressure on there. And if it doesn't come out the first time you try and give it a few days, it should come out on their own. Because obviously the only day you're gonna be using it, you're still gonna be pressing on the screen. So hopefully with all those presses throughout the day, they should come out on their own. But if you don't want to wait a few days, then just try to keep messing with it with this until they all come out. So yeah, it feels like I think there's a few bubbles that I won't be able to get out. This one right there and one right there. So I'm going to just leave it as that. I'm going to give it a few days for it to come out on their own. So, so far, I do like the screen protector because... It looks like there is no screen protector in it. So my, on my old screen protector, I had this one. And as you can see, it's a clear one. So you can see it from any angle that, you, that there is a screen protector on it. And it doesn't cover the whole, it doesn't cover around the whole hold button. And this one does cover the whole hold button. So that's another good thing about it. So. The screen protector came with black bezels, just like with the phone, so it looks more flush. And like I said, it looks like there's nothing on it, so it looks really nice and sleek. So, I do recommend the screen protector. It's pretty easy to install, especially with this on it. It's like really, really simple. Literally, I just put it on, I let it flat, and I set that on its own. So yeah, guys, I put the link down below if you guys do want to buy the same screen protector from Case Cool. So... This one fits for the iPhone 7, iPhone 8, and the iPhone SE 2020. Okay, make sure it's not for the older one. So any of those three models, it should be the exact same way as this one, all right? And I do sell it for the iPhone 11, and 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max. So I would recommend you guys getting one of these for your phone, all right? So like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.